Hello, everybody. There's been some major breaking news. We literally just wrapped the show. We were writing our headlines when this came across the desk. Let's go and put this up there on the screen from a friend of the show, Glenn Greenwald. He reports, exclusive, as the Daily Wire has publicly negotiated to debate with Candace Owens, it secretly sought and has now obtained a gag order against her. So Glenn writes that as the Daily Wire was publicly negotiating a debate with Candace Owens, that it secretly has obtained now a gag order. According to this, public, you know, according to what uh, Glenn has written here, previously, Ben Shapiro had invited Candace for a debate about Israel and the current definition of anti-Semitism. After Owens had objected to that debate format, she and Jeremy Boring ex- exchanged numerous tweets negotiating about when all of this was going to take place. But this has not happened now. Now, here's exactly what Glenn writes. The Daily Wire, in secret and unbeknownst to its readers, has sought a gag order placed on Owens after she called for the debate. They did this under the cover of secrecy before a private arbitrator at exactly the same time they were claiming in public that they wanted this debate and were even negotiating the terms with her. To this date, the Daily Wire has not informed its readers seeking to understand why the much anticipated debate has not yet happened even though they had sought and obtained this gag order. Seeking the gag order, the Daily Wire has accused her of violating a non-disparagement clause of her agreement with the company. And to substantiate that accusation, the company is citing Owens's tweet requesting a debate with Shapiro as proof of disparagement, along with concerns that she voiced that Shapiro appeared to be violating the confidentiality agreement by publicly maligning Owens' views to explain her departure from the company. So again, this company, The Daily Wire is citing her request for a debate, which they then are like, hey, why haven't you agreed to this debate? for a gag order in a court violating the non-disparagement clause of her agreement with the company. Now, again, to justify the gag order, they are citing, quote, various criticisms of the Daily Wire and Shapiro on Twitter that Owens had, quote, liked. So if you like a tweet that is now being cited in a court, private arbitration, to seek a gag order against someone, I would also note, there was also this YouTube BS about some guy used to work for Steven Crowder. I'm not exactly, you know, uh, Uh, familiar with the case. But what I do know is that I saw Ben Shapiro actually speaking out on behalf of that guy who was being silenced, it appears, by Steven Crowder for violating some sort of NDA and non-disparagement and dragging his ass through court and really basically ruining his life. Allegedly, by the way. I don't know exactly all the details. But I did see Ben speak up on their behalf. So how hypocritical then is it now to be going after one of your former employees if you believe in free speech and debate and all this and requesting a gag order, not allowing her to do interviews and to debates, you know, in this type of format. It's just absolutely outrageous because she requested an open debate, not for that company, out in the open to allow this to happen. And now it makes sense why it's been two some weeks since it's all supposed to have occurred. Nothing has materialized and she's only really been, you know, vaguely tweeting about some of these subjects. So absolutely outrageous. It is um, ridiculous, you know, for Ben Shapiro to have previously gone after, I believe it was Steven Crowder, who was allegedly silencing one of his own employees. And then his own company is now basically doing the exact same thing, using the legal process, you know, against somebody who used to work for that company. It's the absolute opposite of everything that they've represented in the past. And as Glenn accurately points out, they did not inform their own audience readers and subscribers, paid subscribers, that while they were going to use their money to try and put on a debate and openly, you know, taunting Candace for not participating, that they were using their money to go after her for a gag order in a court of law. So, you know, when people show you who you are, believe them, right? That's uh, the most that we can say on the subject. And uh, we'll see you all later. We'll keep you informed. Hey guys, if you like that video, go to breakingpoints.com, become a premium subscriber and help us build the best independent media organization on the planet. That's right. We're subscriber funded. We're building something new. We want to replace these failing mainstream media organizations. So again, to subscribe, it's breakingpoints.com.